take mine. So I want to talk to you today about right action and why it's the guiding principle that you should live by. You know why? Because this shit works. Okay, what do I mean by this? Right action. I think when you hear principles, either by me or someone else that you trust, take them for what they are, just apply them. If someone like me who's done all this research, social experimenting for the last couple decades of my life and figured out things, and I share these things with you, try them out. And as you're trying them out, even if you don't think they'll work, just do it anyways. Take right action. I think you also know deep in your heart what right action is. You see a cute girl, she looks unapproachable. Go fucking do it anyways. It makes you uncomfortable. Go fucking do it anyways. That's the whole point. You know in your heart, until you do it, you don't really know if the person's actually approachable or not. They might look like they have an RBF, or maybe some people look way more approachable. And sometimes the approachable ones are actually not that friendly and sometimes the least approachable ones end up being the most friendly. So let me tell you a little situation. So six in the morning, I'm cracked out, but strike up a conversation with this person. They're very friendly. We're going back and forth, seems to be going well. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, I gotta get ready to board. And she was, it, it almost seemed like she was making an excuse to go isolate herself and stop talking. I was like, okay, that's weird. We're in the same boarding group, but she was gonna try to sneak into A. And she successfully did. I was very surprised. She ended up sitting in the very first row in the very first seat. I was like, all right, well, clearly I'm not the only person that likes to talk my way into things. So I was a little impressed. Halfway through the, uh, through the flight, I, was, I started watching A Beautiful Mind. Now, my first time seeing this, it seems very relevant. And I'll tell you why in a second. But going back, halfway through this movie, I was really thirsty. I wanted more sparkling water. And these pretzel things that I caved into. Now, so I went to the front, but I was hesitating because I was like, man, I'm gonna have to run into this girl, blah, blah, blah. Fuck it, I do what I want. So I go up to the front, get more sparkling water. I asked for more snacks. And for some reason, the flight attendant not only gives me the snacks, she pops open a bag of these new snacks. These snacks that like, they aren't supposed to give out yet, but for some reason, she cracks it open and gives me one. So this is the shit that they give everybody, the normal mixed stuff, which is pretty good. And here's the, the new label, the new stuff, that new new that they're coming out with that they're not giving out yet. The lady was also nice enough to give me one on the way out for the road. So I turn around as I'm walking back to my seat. I walk past the first girl. God, she was so cute. Wearing this like cheetah outfit. Best part, we live in the same city. Yeah, I joke that I don't do long distance because she lives like in a city 30 minutes away from me, but yeah, she can make that trip. <laughs> I'm living in the more popping area anyways. So, uh, I, I swing by, I see her glance over, reinitiate, shoot the shit. Uh, asked her, how'd she talk her way in? She's like, oh, I don't, she like just brushed it under the rug. And I said, no, 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 you're gonna tell me this. And I'm gonna tell you of a story of a time where I got onto a flight 30 minutes before takeoff that I shouldn't have made from Berlin to Ukraine. I'm gonna tell you this story at another time. Let's exchange contact. She just, yeah, without hesitation. So that was one of the things where it's like, in that mind, if I let my logic determine whether to have done that or not, I wouldn't have done it. The beautiful mind is all about this guy with schizophrenia who has hallucinations, but he knows, yeah, even if it feels real, not to abide by them, to ignore them. You know, he was be basically being haunted for his whole entire life by these hallucinations of a best friend and his daughter and then this like CIA agent that's like protecting him from the Russians. But he learns to manage and control it. And despite seeing them in his mind, even though he's the only one that sees them, similar to our own doubts, similar to our own minds trying to protect us, we gotta take right action. And in this case, it was him ignoring it, verifying what's real, bringing humor and light to it 
and not letting it ruin or wreck the remaining parts of his life. And here in this case, getting in the way of his goals. And he ends up, I'm not gonna spoil the movie. So I'm not, I'll hold myself back right now. But a very timely movie to watch because that's what right action is. You know in your heart what's, what's real, what's true, or you're testing it out. But that was one of the things that served me well. When I was going through this journey myself, I learned from some of the greats. And they would share these things that were like ahas to me, even if they weren't tested in my mind yet because they shared it and it was a new perspective and it was something that they had brought anecdotal evidence or empirical evidence. It was enough for me to see the big picture and apply myself when I found myself in relevant situations, right? To take the action regardless of however, however it was that I was feeling at the time. And that was just such a powerful motivating thing. Like for example, making the approach will free you from your stifledness. Do the first one, it will free you up. Keep doing it, it'll free you for life. No matter how much built up anxiety there is, the right action is, the anxiety is an illusion. No one else feels it in the situation. We all know that it goes away. Our emotions are fleeting, they ebb and flow, but we know the exact buttons to push if we wanna free ourselves from this situation. So that's the message of today, right action. Beautiful mind. Be the one that does it regardless of how you feel because you know what the truth is. And that's what this is about. If this is useful, please comment below, subscribe. Love you guys, want to come. On my way to Austin for Leadership Academy watch party with some very dear friends. Got to train up, become more powerful leaders, positively influential. I'm gonna share my greatest gifts with you guys so you guys can go do the same and make this world even more amazing.